Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now this video is part of a series, so check the link within this video's description to find my other videos as well as to where to order all of these components online. What I'm doing is building a uh, building a DJI Phantom 2 that's capable of 4K video and FPV, first person view. So within this video I'm going to explain how to install the quick disconnect prop guards and again you can find these within this video's description but what's so cool about these is that when you're traveling with your Phantom 2 you can quickly disconnect so that your Phantom 2 can still fit in a uh, standard carrying case and you can find the carrying case that I use within this video's description. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have everything laid out. You're going to need your little tool kit that came with your Phantom 2 and get this little hex key thingy out of it. You're also going to need your screws that came with the quick disconnect prop guards. And you're going to want to keep this bag because when you take out the shorter screws you're going to want to save your, uh, your original Phantom 2 screws should you decide to take off the prop guards in the future. So let's open this baggie here and get started. Again, a, a work area such as this would be optimal. A brightly colored table so that you can see all the pieces. I'm taking all these long screws out. And before I proceed, obviously, I want to make sure that the tool that I have fits. And actually, you know what, it's a different, uh, the heads on these are different than, than the factory screws. Because the factory screws, this will work with those. When we're going to the back here and we're doing these, this, this fits that. But let me step away and find a, a tool that will fit these. It's a common tool. And you'll be able to find it within this video's description too if you need to order one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to make sure, now that we've identified we have all the tools, we're going to want to know front from rear. So obviously we've got red and we've got white. So I'm going to, the front of the craft right here is where the little stickers go. So I'm going to use the red ones there. So that when I see red, I know that's that's the direction that the GoPro camera will be facing. So let's do the front first, where I'm going to put the red ones. First thing I'm going to do is unscrew one of these screws. And then make sure that these actually will fit. The other ones are the same size. Because otherwise you're going to take all this stuff out and then discover that it's not going to work. So there's, there's your factory DJI screw. And then there's the one that's compatible with quick disconnect prop guards. So you can see it's significantly longer. So what we're going to do now on this particular motor, we're going to take all four of the factory screws out again, placing them inside the Ziploc bag for storage should we ever want to uh, revert back to a factory configuration without the prop guards. These come right off. They're very, uh, very easy to take out. Again, be sure to use a work area where you've got good lighting and preferably a brightly colored or white table like I have so I can see all these pieces should one fall to the floor. The good thing is when I got this Phantom 2, you notice it had it in the in the little silver bag. It had extra screws like this, so if you inadvertently lost a few of them, it wouldn't necessarily be a death sentence for your for your drone. So you would have a few extras. But like any other project, it's important to be sure you have the tools and everything before beginning and Having never installed these prop guards before, I'm going to test one of these corners before I go and do 
the prop guards on all four motors. I want to make sure it fits and looks good before I before I commit and do them all. So this one right here is is ready. Again, this is the front. So this is a direction that the uh, that the GoPro camera on the gimbal will be facing. So I've decided I'm going to make it red. You could use the white there if you wanted to. It's all personal preference. But I want to do red. That way when I see it, I know that that's the way I'm filming. Now this has two sides. It's got that side that's kind of caved in. And then it's got this side. It's this side here that's going to make contact with your, with your Phantom. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that this part's facing outwards and that, uh, yeah, because that's your quick disconnect side. And what you may want to do is test it before just to make sure that, let's see. So that's how it goes. So stick it in, know how it goes, and then position accordingly. I gotta turn that buzzer up. So stick it in, make sure you know how it connects, which obviously that's how it connects. Then you can quickly disconnect keeping it in that same orientation. So remember, this side with the little thing sticking out, they go in those holes. And it all lines up perfectly. So you can see the orientation, the curved parts facing outwards. Now using one screw at a time, we're going to screw this in now with the longer screws using the tool. The different tool, not the DJI tool, but the tool that that you can find within this video's description. So what I would suggest doing, obviously do not want to over tighten. Just kind of get them all in there loosely. And then you can go back and add a little bit more tightness to it. This is actually very easy. If you're like me and you've been uh, you've been a little hesitant to take a quadcopter and add your own customizations to it. It's actually very simple. And you'll see that throughout this video series because I'm doing a video for every step of the process. So now I've got all four screws in all, all lined up perfectly. I'm going to go back and gently tighten a little bit. Again, not over tighten, but just tighten it up to where it feels, uh, where it feels snug. All four of those screws. So now that I've got all four screws in there, let's see how this works before we proceed with uh, we're doing all four corners. So it looks nice, and you can see it's not adding. This is how you, this is how it would be when you're putting it in your case. So it's adding very minimal size increase. And then to put the prop guard on, all you would do is like this right here, just slide. And then it snaps, and you're good to go. To take the prop guard off, gently squeeze this other end. With your fingers, like I just put my fingers over that. I gently squeezed, and now I can gently slide out. So they work really well. So now that I've convinced that it's a quality product and it's easy to install, what we're going to do now is go through and do all four corners. So I'm going to speed up this video at this point so you can see it happen, and then I will do a uh, review once complete so that you can see how it looks with the quick disconnect prop guards installed on all four motors.
Okay, so I've got the uh, the quick disconnect mounts mounted on on all underneath all four engines. And what I'm going to do now is just put these screws back in this bag. These are the original DJI screws in case I ever did want to take these quick disconnects off for whatever reason. I really like how they look. They're very professionally made and it's a high quality material they're made out of. And again, the good part is is that now that it comes the quick disconnect prop guards come with a string which I'm going to opt not to use. I I don't like to put string between them. But we're just going to attach them all here and you can see you can see how this looks. Let's see. And I like how the quick disconnect pieces are color coded for the uh, uh, the prop guards too. That way you can just look down and know which one goes where. I mean, these are rigid. They're very nice. The cool thing about prop guards, I mean, I'm, in the past I haven't installed them because I was worried about. Well, I didn't want the extra bulk. I didn't want to have to not be able to put my Phantom in a case because of the prop guards, and this solves that problem. See, look how nice that looks. So now if it tilts over during landing or, or takeoff or whatever, if you inadvertently run into a tree or something like that, it's going to better prevent your, your um, propellers from becoming damaged. And then also, whatever you made impact with, it would better prevent that from being damaged. But I'm going to show you now, I've got my case right here. And you can check the link in this video's description to, uh, to find where to order this case. But I'm going to show you how well this fits in there. We're going to zoom out a little bit. So watch this, so let's say I finish flying in the field. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is take my, you know, my prop guards off. I'm all about convenience and that's what I like about this. I mean you can see how quick of a process this is. It's not like you're at the field and you're trying to delay other people that are with you to go home. I mean, they just pop right off. That just took a few seconds. So now I can open my case and I can put my Phantom 2 in here and see it fits even with the uh, uh, extra thing. What I am going to do though, since this was form fitted for for no quick disconnect prop guards. I'm going to cut that out just a little bit so it can go down. See it's not it's not sitting all the way in like it should with so as you can see here after slight modification with the regular pocket knife I was able to make it fit perfectly and that's actually all I had to cut out right there. So Again, check the link within this video's description. Without a doubt, your least expensive, waterproof and ruggedized case for the DJI Phantom 2. Let's see if we can put the prop guards in here too. I mean, I may just have to carry these in the backpack, which if I do, that's fine. Or See, they may fit on the sides of it. And obviously I'll have the controller and stuff in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna carry those in the backpack. But, look at how awesome that is. And just so you can see how I modified, see I cut out some there. Actually cut out some on all of them. And I cut out a minimal amount because I wanted to when I push this in here, I want it to be form-fitting. See, 
see how nice that fits. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixgap and check the link within this video's description. I'm going to post all my tutorials there. You can order all of this equipment there and ask me a question there too if you have any questions. Uh, just hit the contact page and, and send me a message and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixgap.